Hello and welcome back to a new session on mathematics. Today we'll be talking about fractions. To know more about fractions, let's listen to a small story. The story is about Chintu who has sneaked the chocolate into the classroom and when he's just about to enjoy, Pintu catches him. Now he has to share this chocolate with Pintu too, but he's okay with it. So what do they do? They break this chocolate into two equal parts and each gets six out of 12 pieces. Both are happy and just about to enjoy. They are caught by Tinku. They better share it with her else the teacher will know. So what do they do? Chintu gives one piece of chocolate to uh, Tinku and Pintu gives two pieces of chocolate to Tinku. Now everyone have some amount of chocolate pieces. But do you think they have shared this chocolate equally among themselves? Do you think it is a fair distribution? To know this, let's go back to begin with where Chintu had a bar of chocolate. In this bar, as you all can see, how many pieces are there? 12 pieces. And with how many people does he have to share? Two. He has to share with his two friends. So how many people? Three people and how many pieces? 12 pieces. Let's do the math. 12 pieces to be shared by 3. So 12 divided by 3 will give us how much? 4. So each should get how many pieces of chocolate? It is 4. So 4 out of 12 pieces. So mathematically I can write this as 4 by 12. Now this 4 by 12 is called as a fraction. And the... You can see a line between 4 and 12. The number below the line is called the denominator and the number which is above the line is called the numerator. Now what do they indicate? Denominator indicates the whole. Whole. When I say whole, how many? One bar. Definitely yes. But how many pieces that did that have? It had 12 pieces. So 12 goes into denominator. And what was the individual share that each got? It was four pieces. So that is the numerator. So numerator indicates the part of that whole that each has got. And whereas the denominator indicates the whole. That is the 12 pieces. So what is a fraction? Fraction is nothing but a number basically which indicates part of a whole. I hope this is clear. To you know have a much better clear understanding, let's do a quick exercise. Here I have a box, right? Or should I say rectangle? This rectangle, what have I done to it? I've drawn, divided that into four equal parts. And these four equal parts, I have shaded one part of it. Now, how can I write this mathematically, right? So one part has been shaded out of the four parts. So I can write this numerically as one by four. Okay? So Let's continue this process. Now what do I do? It's a rectangle. So I color one more rectangle. So how many shaded rectangles do I have? Two out of four. So how do I write this numerically? It is written as two by four. And then continuing the thing. So next I color one more rectangle. So how many parts are colored? Three. So three out of four are colored now. So I can write this numerically as 3 by 4, right? So if I had taken this further uh, a step ahead and colored all four pieces, then how would you denote it as? 4, I have 4 uh, smaller rectangles and I have shaded how many? 4, so 4 by 4. And what does that 4 by 4 indicate? It indicates as a whole, that is 1 when simplified. I have a bigger rectangle. I have made again four parts of this but I have colored or shaded only one part of the rectangle. Do you think I can call this as one by four? Can I? Remember the story uh, wherein uh, we paused and went back to the you know the starting position and understood what is a fraction and the fair distribution? If that is true then can I call this as a fraction now? No, right? Because fraction is all about 
fair distribution or equal distribution. Therefore, this is not a fraction. All right. So now let's see more of real life examples. So actually, do we need to learn uh, fractions only because it's in the book? Or is there any other reason for this? Do we see them in our day to day life? Yeah. So, yes, I'm enjoying my pizza. Just imagine that I've taken a piece of pizza and I'm about to eat. First thing is count the number of pieces that are there in this pizza. It is six and I'm enjoying one piece. So how much pieces have I consumed? One. If I have to write this in a fractional way, how would I write it? It would be one that I've eaten and total pieces are six. So one by six. Just pizza? No. The glass of water. So if I call a glass of water as a whole, so observe that third glass is slightly lesser. So if I demark it as whole as four by four and then the third glass would be three by four and the first glass is half that is one by four or two by four or also I can say and the last one would be one by four. It's a fraction again the glass that we drink. Then the fruits imagine I'm eating a fruit when I cut the apple into two parts right it becomes one by two. Further, if I cut it, it becomes 1 by 4. 1 I have already eaten here. So 1 by 4. So how much is left if I ask you how much would you say? It would be 3 by 4. Fantastic. Again, same thing with the orange. I have cut the orange into two parts. But the other part is not to be seen. So I have eaten the other orange as well. So how much is it left? 1 by 2. Good. Only eating things, is it? That's all we see. What about the fuel meter in our vehicles? So this fuel meter has six divisions starting from empty to full, right? Now the pointer is at full. So how many divisions are there? There are six divisions and the tank is full. So how do I write this fractionally? It is written as six by six. Now let's say I have used the petrol and it is moving towards the low. Now the petrol is on low. So if I ask you how much of petrol or should I say how much of fuel is left, you would say what? 1 by 6. If I ask you how much have we used the fuel, you would say what? 5 by 6. So 6 by 6, 1 by 6 is left and then if I keep continuing like this, I will run out of the fuel and come to the end of it. So here we are at the end of today's session. So let's do a quick recap of what we have learned. So we started off with understanding what is a fraction. That is part of a whole. And then we solved few, uh, you know, tiny bit of an examples to understand how do we write a fraction. And then we also correlated this to our day-to-day -day life and few examples on that.